The Mariners hoping to extend that 12-game unbeaten run. Sydney FC proud of their home record. And they have the ideal leader for the big occasion in Dwight York. Petrovsky. York. Flag down and full stretch. Here's the Sydney FC. Dwight York. Takes Clark one way and then the other. Squares it up. The shot. Sydney. Draw first blood in the grand final. Stevie Corica. yet but it won't count and Sydney are away at the other end a big talking point in the grand final here's Alex Bross skips away from Vargo so it's almost the hero and Sydney have scored at the other end and this one will count it's Mark Bridge who becomes the first man to score in successive grand finals since John and Stadionis and in front of them this guy McFlynn with Charlotte Kissel they've worked ever Oscar Toy turning it in, what a goal! Melbourne are level in the grand final and it's Adrian Leia with a bullet header. And the key here is Leia attacks the ball. Musket takes it, it's got a bit of tail on it, but Leia wants it. You told us you missed. <laughs> well, there you go, I changed my mind. Simon Kalloff first for Melbourne. Vic oh! He's missed! Oh, it's a great save! Call as you like. The Scott. And he puts Sydney FC. Big responsibility on the Costa Rican. And it's a great start in the major semi final. This for 3 1. He does score. Scored for Sydney in normal play. Tucks this away. The championship is heading to the Harbour City. It's all on Bjorn and all on Langerak for Melbourne victory. Bjorn scores! Sydney FC are the champions! Italian touchdown in Australia on Sunday to be met by hundreds of eager supporters following his switch from Italian giants Juventus. Del Piero, who scored over 200 goals in 513 appearances during his time in Turin, has signed a two-year deal at Sydney. The 37. Across, there's the chance, and the equaliser arrives. Yeah, but that's a risky pass. Can't be offside in that situation. Cross, 2-0 to Sydney FC. And it's a win. Close, Nick Bitch. Found its way through for Ninkovic! Could have won the derby for the Sky Blues! With just three minutes to go, the Serbian! Superb finish! Ninkovic with composure! He is such a genius! Superb Ninkovic. Ninkovic slides all the way through. Milos Ninkovic, what a moment! Ninkovic scores! Dreams have come true in Sky Blue! Nedavno ste razhinuli, odnosno niste razhinuli čisto kao vam ugovor sa Sydney FC. Dosta je priče bilo oko toga da li će se on produžiti. Na kraju ste vi objavili na svom Instagram prvom. Uvijek govorio samo istinu, tako da ja nikada nisam. Do duše, sad ovo kad sam objavio na Instagramu, vjerovatno sam malo emotivno reagovao i desili su se neke neželjene reakcije navijača, 
tako da nije baš bilo najbolje. Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to, to share with you uh, my decision I made today. I'm leaving Sydney FC. Two days after that the club announced that they offered me a new contract and I didn't accept, you know, which is more respect. I didn't want to retire because someone else told me that I have to retire. Yeah, just five minutes ago. Do everything you yeah. need to do? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. club? Yeah, yeah, everything. Okay. I preferred you with those with those plat plats and everything else. I'm not late, mate. I was on time. Always on time, mate. No, it's about to recommence between the two halves of Sydney's biggest city. This is the Sydney Derby. They've got a man left who's Cassini Yangi. Is this it for the Wanderers? Still Yangi. And still Cassini Yangi! Western Sydney the lead. You know, you can celebrate, but you know, do it with you know, with class. This evening for Sydney FC is all about revenge. For the Western Sydney Wanderers, it's about doing the double. Ball driven in by Caballo. He's got a good left foot on him. Now Burgess. Past one on his left foot. Let's fly! First blood in the derby. And it's sky blue. And it's a red card. For Yeni and Bakoto. Western Sydney find themselves a man down. It's all over. Steve Gorica celebrates as if he was still a player. Western Sydney gave it everything. But Western Sydney have come up short. They started home. I just reminded him of something he said to me a few years ago when I was at Wellington when I when I when I beat him 3-0. Just Rude's a little bit frustrated, obviously, with their performance and, and the results. So, um, you know, we took it on the chin when we lost at our home ground. And, you know, he's probably just been a little bit of a sore loser, I think, tonight. As young, the, 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 the coaches and my parents teach me to be, to be like a fair when you win and when you lose, you know, because some, some games you're going to win, some games you're going to lose. Uh, I don't think that it was bad life for me. I think it was more bad life for the head coach of Sydney because I wasn't on the pitch and obviously when the game finished I straight away I went to the to the dressing room. I didn't go to the dressing room ju just to congratulate the, the players. That was one thing. But the other thing was to ask the head coach because he was talking very bad thing during the game, which I know him for many years and he never he never did that with any any other players, you know, and he said some bad things <clears throat> to me when I was on the pitch and I just wanted to, obviously the first reason it was to congratulate the, the players because I didn't have a chance after the game. And then to speak with him face on face and to see him, uh, if he's a man to tell me that on, on my face, you know, and I had two reasons. Yeah, he just come to wish the players all the best. Have a good season, so that's what he come in for. He's just upset, obviously losing the game. You know, we we have issues with him, with him, obviously, um, but that's all. That's between me and him. I think it all started in the game where, where I think their coach said something um, not very nice in the sideline to Milos. I think that's where he started. You know, and my understanding from. The guys that do full access, you know, approached and approached me and just said that Milos went in there to to congratulate his old teammates, and uh, their coach didn't appreciate him being in there. Something occurred between those two, which wasn't pleasant. It's was quite fiery. I haven't seen Milos yet, so I haven't spoken to him about that. But um, it's football; these things kind of happen. But that's all I know. Way he goes. Back, they're shifting it here. Sydney FC, the shot's on, and it's the opening goal. Robert back, and they're going to link up. Wally finds back, cutting it back, and it's two for Sydney FC. Has he got one moment of magic in him? Kacharski with a bender! Remember the name, Jaden Kacharski. Moment of truth. Wood with a crack.
crisp finish. Oh, it's a very clever ball in for Caceres. Oh, that's a fine finish. A fine goal by Sydney FC. Trying to play their way out. Here's a chance. Patrick Woods digs it out. They still might. Lolly in behind to steer it across. Surely now. And Jack Rockwell's not going to be denied a second time. Off the support to Joe Lolly. Might not need it. The deflection. 2 0 Sydney FC. Australia Cup champions for 2023, Sydney FC!